Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Casa Grande, Arizona, and our groundbreaking for the Tractor Supply Distribution Center, uh, their newest distribution center. As you can see, we do have some work going on behind us, and certainly that just means you'll be up and operating sooner. Would like to uh, certainly acknowledge that these kind of projects don't happen without a lot of hard work on a lot of people's parts. Certainly Mike Mullis and, and the work that you and the TSC team have done, we certainly acknowledge and appreciate all the hard work that went into where we are today. Uh, I know this wouldn't happen without help from the Greater Phoenix Economic Council and I don't see anybody here today from GPEC, but certainly they were a huge help. Um, Arizona Commerce Authority uh, was a big help as well with Allison uh, Gilbreth. Uh, Jakob Anderson and his team who actually own the ground that we're on and this would not have happened had he not been a, a willing negotiator in this whole process. Jim Dinkle and his team at Access Arizona, big part of this whole project as well. Um, our utility providers, certainly APS and Arizona Water are the two major utilities out here. They have both stepped up big time to help make this happen. And I think that, that first or last but not least is the, the city team. City staff really went out of their way to help make this happen. I know our public works department, planning department both had a lot to do with this. But I'd really like to acknowledge kind of the three people that I think really kept the project rolling as we were going through the process of trying to make it happen. That would be Richard Wilkie, who's our economic development person as well as the airport manager. Larry Raines, our deputy city manager. And last but not least, Jim Thompson, our city manager. Uh, I know Jim and Larry spent a lot of hours, a lot of time with Mike on the weekends and late nights and trying to get all the deal points put together and, and I'm happy to say it was successfully done. Would also like to introduce some of the council members that are here today. Uh, Ralph Varela, Carl Montoya, and I don't see any other council people here today. Uh, you know, I think that, that over the last five years, especially Casa Grande has really tried to put our best foot forward with economic development. We think that we are the premier place for logistics and distribution centers uh, with I-8, I-10 right here and being in outside of the, the greater, well, we're in the greater Phoenix metro area, but certainly outside the, the urban area, uh, lends itself, I think, to better workforce, uh, cheaper prices, and certainly, I think, uh, depending on where you're trying to get to in, in, from this distribution center, we are better located than some of the places in, in the West Valley. Um, certainly, I think that, that the, as we work through this process, you'll find that it's, we're a good group to work with. Uh, certainly, Pinal County has been a big part of helping us get where we are. So thanks to Pinal County as well. So with that, I'm sure we're not all here to listen to me talk. I would like to introduce Alex, uh, who is the Senior Vice President with Tractor Supply Chain. So Alex, if you would, please. Thank you, Mayor Jackson. Welcome, everyone. Thank you all for coming this afternoon. Today is a special day for Tractor Supply, and we're delighted you could join us in this groundbreaking ceremony for our newest distribution center. Tractor Supply Company was founded over 75 years ago in 1938. It's evolved from a mail order tractor parts business into the largest rural lifestyle retail store chain in the United States. Today we operate over 1,300 stores in 49 states and employ more than 19,000 team members in our stores, distribution centers, and store support center, all part of the tractor supply family. And we're excited to be adding more team members with the new Casa Grande distribution center. We are a growth company, adding over 100 stores a year, and the addition of this facility is essential as we continue to expand our store base into the western states. And as a growth company, one of the most rewarding things we do is create jobs for local economies. In fact, we've grown from having no retail stores in the state of Arizona in 2012 to 22 retail stores in just these past two years, currently employing close to 250 people. We're planning to open up another up to seven retail stores in the state next year, including, we, we expect, one right here in Casa Grande. The Central Arizona Commerce Park provides us with an ideal location for a new distribution center to help support this growth. 
allowing us to better serve our Western-based customers with faster, more efficient delivery to our stores. Now, a big part of the selection process was Casa Grande's excellent workforce that we expect will supply us with the needed people to successfully operate this facility. I'm also pleased to say we're pursuing LEED or LEED certification through the design and construction of this building, representing another step in becoming a more environmentally sustainable company as we look for ways to become more efficient, eliminate waste, and work to impact the environment more favorably. As we break ground on the site today, we mark the beginning of construction. However, this project started many, many months ago, and I'd like to take a moment to thank those who have helped us get to this point. From our devoted team members at Tractor Supply and Board of Directors and Real Estate Planning Committee members, all the architectures, contractors, land development managers, city, state, and county officials who have helped in the process, we thank you. There are a number of groups and people I'd like to recognize and thank for their key role in this project. The city of Casa Grande and their council members for their passion and commitment to bring jobs and development to their great city. Too many to mention them all, but would like to specifically call out Mayor Bob Jackson, City Manager Jim Thompson, Larry Raines, Deputy City Manager, City Planning Commissioner Paul Tice, and Economic Development Director Richard Wilkie. The Arizona Commerce Authority, represented here today by Allison Gilbreth, and, and the Ga Greater Phoenix Economic Council, or GPEC. Mike Mullis of JM Mullis Incorporated, who kept telling us how much tractor supply would really culturally fit in with Casa Grande community, community and, and we certainly think he's right, and that's a big reason why we're here. H&M Companies for the continuous design and rework and work as we're speaking. The Central Arizona Commerce Park and its principal, Jakob Anderson, for working creatively with the city and us to put this deal together. And the city, city Phoenix Community and Economic Development, specifically the Office of the Foreign Trade Zone, which really helped get, put this deal together, or a key piece to get this deal together. Pinal County in the state of Arizona for their resources and incentives. And also, I, I think a personal thank you to Ms. Allison Gilbreth of the Arizona Commerce Authority and Ms. Jamie Northam, formerly a GPEC, who couldn't be here today. I don't, without their tireless efforts, I really don't think we'd be here in Arizona today, and that, that, that group has just done a terrific job. We appreciate all your hard work in assisting us through this project and we're thrilled to become part of the Casa Grande in Arizona communities. And with that said, I'd like to welcome our partner, Bill Hunsaker from the Arizona, Arizona, Central Arizona Commerce Park to the podium. So I uh, do not have any plan statement. I was actually asked to step in on behalf of the uh, project ownership. Jakob Anderson, who he and his team are en route and unfortunately got caught up in a, I guess, a, a terrible accident up on the I-10. So. Um, I don't have any fixed remarks, but I, I do want to speak to several of the points that have been made. Um, first of all, welcome to Tractor Supply Company. We are thrilled to have you be a, a key anchor tenant, the primary anchor tenant uh, to the Central Arizona, Arizona Commerce Park. Um, to the team, all of the economic development personnel who were instrumental in bringing this, uh, this transaction together. Um, as I mentioned, uh, Jakob Anderson and his team, they uh, are thrilled to have this announcement and this groundbreaking today. Um, and just to give you a little bit of information about the park, there's two phases. Um, Tractor Supply committed to phase two, approximately well, 100 acres. Uh, we still have 178 acres available on the south side of Peters Road here. Uh, hopefully they'll have additional needs even further down the road beyond what they've already committed to. Uh, but we do have um, 178 acres of heavy industrially zoned land here. Uh, with rail capability. And on the north side of Peters Road, we have approximately 138 or 138 acres of shovel-ready sites and, and parcels. Uh, rail served, uh, much of it. Um, and those parcels range anywhere from an acre up to approximately 50 acres. So um, I am not nearly as eloquent as my, uh, my owner representative, Jakob, who would be carrying his uh, wonderful British accent here. But uh, on behalf of the park's ownership, we would certainly like to say thank you. Thanks to Mike Mullis, I know that uh, you were referenced earlier, but very much appreciate your giving consideration to this park and assisting um, them in, in understanding the benefits of the community. To the city once again for their commitment, the infrastructure, and otherwise uh, to the utilities, APS. Um, I think I saw David Bentler here. Um, 
Did I? Maybe I did not. Um, but again, thank you to everybody. We very much appreciate it and uh, look forward to much more success down the road.